Hey, it's Poem by Dumplings, the reviewer that you will never know. So, this is my first and only review, probably, of Ironside Computers. Um, they're not paying me or anything like that. I'm just your average guy reviewing their PC. Um, I will preface this video with I'm not a computer expert. I never built a computer. I've only had help building one computer. And this one was it. This old one. Other than that, I am no computer expert. I cannot tell you the percentages of hardware and things like that. I also apologize for the quality of the video. I'm recording this for my cell phone. A Samsung Galaxy Note. Um... So I'm not a streamer or anything like that. So if you don't like the quality, just click off right now. Anyway, cutting straight to the chase. Do I think you should buy from Ironside Computers? Yes. Yes, I think you should. Um, the overall build quality, customer service, 10 out of 10. Definitely one of the best companies to buy a pre-built from i mean just look at that that build quality absolutely gorgeous see the logo right there gorgeous all right so with that being said let's get into the specs of my build because i know some of you will want to know my gpu is a nvidia geforce rtx 3070 FTW3. My CPU is right there. i7-1170. The fuck is my camera doing? Uh, yeah. 1100. Yeah, okay, whatever. There you go. You see right there. Uh, 32 gigs of RAM. RGB, obviously. Um, Iron Tundra cooling. And an Asus. B590A motherboard. All right. Oh, yeah, and four additional RGB fans purchased from Ironside. So, going to go over the cons of Ironside first because there are so few. Because like I already said, I love Ironside, and I've had nothing but Good things to say about them, but there are still a few criticisms I have. One, their website's laggy. I don't know if it was a day I ordered or what. The UI is fine, but picking parts on your mobile app, you know, I was going back and forth which parts I wanted. I was customizing my PC on my phone and on the computer when I was at work or on my lunch break. Um... You know, just browsing various prices. It was extremely difficult. I didn't like that at all. Um, I don't know if that's Ironside side or internet or both, but that was my experience personally. In fact, I wanted a better motherboard. And I actually had intended to have a better motherboard. But I misselected this one. They had not charged me for the more expensive one, and, you know, it was my fault for not going over the, the items in the cart before I purchased the PC. So it was still my fault, but it is what it is. This motherboard is more than capable. I don't have a problem with it. Another thing I didn't like about Ironside, not necessarily their fault either. They did not have any Samsung 980 Evo M.2s in stock. So I had to buy my own and install it. My own on that heat shield. Under that heat shield right there. That metal thing. Under the CPU. Now, many of you will be like, installing an M.2 is super easy. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, whatever. Like I said, I'm not a PC guy. I would have preferred they just install it in for me. But they did not have it available. So... I had no choice but to purchase my own and install it myself. Um, another thing, they didn't have 3080s in stock. 
originally wanted a 3080 in the, the computer, not a 3070. Again, not their, not necessarily their fault due to the GPU shortage and all the Bitcoin mining and stuff like that. Um, so, you know, not going to hold it against them, but it was inconvenient for the customer, myself. I wanted a 3080. They didn't have it. Didn't really matter at that point for me, the reasons. Um... Another thing I didn't like, again, not necessarily within their control. Maybe it is. They use FedEx to ship. Terrible shipping service. Absolutely terrible. The packaging was well, was done really well. You see all the packaging over there? Comes in like two boxes with a bunch of styrofoam, and there's styrofoam all in this to protect all the parts and stuff like that. So the, the, the problem was not damage. The problem was shipping. FedEx is absolutely terrible. Um, they went to my house, didn't knock on my door, but the package required a signature since, you know, so expensive. And I would hope that they do have a signature policy, but they didn't knock on my door. How am I supposed to sign your signature if you don't knock on my door? And their excuse was, well, COVID, we don't want, you know, to come in contact with people, stuff like that. I understand that. But it's a signature package. That makes zero sense. How, how can I get my package and sign for it if you're unwilling to knock on my door and let me know you're outside? No emails, no texts, no calls were made. And when I called customer service, they said that they don't, they don't call, they don't email, they don't text, even though I signed up for their... Um, their customer program where they text you and give you updates on your package. It's absolutely brain dead of FedEx to not text you when their mailman or delivery man or whatever is outside with your package to sign for it or knock on your door. How can you, how can you sign for it if they don't knock on your door or let you know they're outside anyway? If possible, I'd recommend Ironside to switch to UPS. That's my opinion. I don't know if it can be done. I don't know their whole deal. I don't know their policy. Anyway, moving on. Another thing I didn't like. Coolant. I asked one of the customer representatives via email if my PC would come with coolant. He said he didn't think so. So I bought my own coolant. EK Crowfield and Blood Red. Get my PC ends up, I do get a bottle of coolant. Again, not a big deal. I'm I'm not complaining too much about it because I mean it's a free bottle of coolant. But I just wish that um, that information was a little more accurate, considering I bought my own uh, coolant in in and in, in anticipation for the PC. Since you obviously cannot run a water cooled PC without water to cool it. Uh, another thing you'll see in this build, like I said before, I have four additional RGB fans. That was not an option when, when, uh, purchasing the PC via their website. I don't know why the only options were two additional RGB fans or four additional non RGB fans. So I called customer support and I said, why is that? Why can't I have four additional RGB fans? And they said, not a problem, sir. We'll get you uh, hooked up there. I'll bill you right now on what, what card you want it on, et cetera, et cetera. Got it built. Well, another thing I didn't like in regards to that same point. I went on the phone with that customer representative. He said that five fans could fit in there, five additional fans. So I paid for five fans. They only installed four, but they refunded me for the fifth. So... No hard feelings there. Not that big of a deal, but it's something that just had happened to me talking about my overall experiences. Why is the four RGB fans not an option initially on the website? Because in my opinion, these fans make a huge difference in the build. I feel sad for anyone that likes RGB like myself and didn't have this option because hell, I love it. So, I would update your website if our you are inside for that. Um, 
Other than that, that's about it. That's the only downsides to ordering from Ironside that I have experienced. Customer service, absolutely wonderful. Every time I emailed them, they would email me back within 24 hours. Every time I called them, I was greeted by nothing but polite customer representatives, people that cared about my order, cared about my concerns. And I called them and emailed them a lot. I don't want to give out my personal information or my email, so I'm not going to show you those emails. But um, I have emailed them upwards of a dozen times regarding certain different questions, certain build concerns, certain this, that, changing the fans, like I said, doing this, doing that. And they have been nothing but polite to me, nothing but professional, nothing but fantastic. The build quality absolutely wonderful i mean look at that zero damage cable management nothing unnecessarily sticking out absolutely wonderful absolutely wonderful to like go over the the, the quality i'm just gonna do a quick benchmark on rainbow six um to show you guys the frames uh now keep in mind i do have g-sync on and it is locked to 170 so Keep that in mind, but you can see the frames there. Let me, uh, up there. I don't know if you can see it. Locked to 170. Absolutely wonderful. I have G Sync on. Um, but it is locked to 170. This PC has been wonderful. And this is max, max settings, max settings. Absolutely wonderful. Now, is there better benchmarking software out there? Yeah. You know, but like I said, I'm not a reviewer or anything. So this is what I had. So look at that. Absolutely unmoving. Just locked at 170. Doesn't matter what's going on in game. And again, I locked it with uh, G-Sync because this monitor only supports 170 frames, so I don't see why I would go above. But have I? I've tested this unlocked with my frames unlocked. Look at that FPS results: 160, min, max, GPU load. Absolutely fantastic. Um, but I have had upwards of 300 frames on Rainbow Six um, without any issues with these like moving backgrounds and stuff too, which I got off Wallpaper Engine. So if people are asking, Wallpaper Engine, uh, search up Retro Doom. Uh, this one's like Neon, Japan City. And the other one is uh, ROG by P Pixel Jeff. I believe. Um, so yeah, absolutely wonderful. Would I recommend buying from Ironside? Yes, 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 a hundred times yes. Uh, Arcadia is currently not in stock anymore, so this review is a little bit late. Uh, sorry about that for people debating if they want to get an Arcadia. Um, I was meaning to do this, but I've just been super lazy. So. Um, been enjoying this PC. Uh, this costed me around $3,800, I want to say, with tax and shipping and all that. Um, and it was worth every cent. Worth every cent. Um, the only thing I regret is getting a bigger power supply, only 750 watts. My fault. I asked my friend for some advice, and he said 750 should be fine. But upon reading other reviewers and stuff like that, I wish I got a thousand watts or 850. But ah, uh, you know, I don't want to send it back into Ironside, or I don't even know if they would take it back, um, even if I paid them. Uh, you know, redoing all the wiring and stuff. I'm not really a, 
expert, so I'm just going to wait. I'll kick that can six years down the road or so when I think of upgrading. But anyway, this, this uh, review is dragging on for too long. Uh, do I recommend buying from Ironside? Yes. Next time a limited edition comes out, you like the design? Do I recommend buying it? Yes. Uh, do I recommend Ironside Iron Tundra Cooling? Uh, the build quality is really good. Uh, if you're not, you know, really that familiar with water cooling, it's not that hard. As a person that's never had a water-cooled PC before, never had any experience. It's not that hard to manage. Um, I will say, though, the temperatures is not that much different from a air-cooling PC. But that's not due to Ironside. That's just overall my experience. But it looks freaking cool. So, I mean, do what, what you will with that. Anyway... Like I said, this is dragging on too long. Uh, thanks for your time. Uh, I'm not getting paid by Ironside, like I said. So, bye. See ya.